Hi, Gemini friends. Welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I hope you guys are all doing well. Gemini, this is going to cover November 16th to the 29th. If the reading doesn't resonate for you, you could definitely please watch your other signs. Um, I'm using the Easy to Read Tarot for you guys. Gemini, those of you that would like to get a private reading, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, for additional weekly readings, love to have you there. Links are below. And those of you that are new to the channel, I just want to say welcome. Thank you so much for subscribing. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, Gemini, please be sure to subscribe. I would very much appreciate that. chair is like this has been happening lately i slowly sink okay so sorry essential issue eight of pentacles reversed wow gemini you're working way too hard the world reversed recent past death sign of scorpio which we are in right now crowning you the hangman And the Six of Pentacles moving forward. Okay. I mean, really, take caution that you're not overworking yourself. Like, crash and burn. Because that's what I see here. Overworking, crashing and burning, and then, really, needing a break. That's what you're thinking about. The death card, some of you are clinging to your job, changing your life, you know, being more charitable, more giving. Or an earth sign is. The world reversed. Some of you have not been able to complete this cycle. You know, with the hangman, because I really feel this, you're not, you're not seeing things from a different perspective. Some of you are dealing with a Taurus or a Leo with the world. With the world card here, you know, and others of you are dealing with a Scorpio. Or this is the time for you to get out of your head. You definitely need to try to not overwork yourself. I know you want to make money. You know, you definitely want to help others. And that is so absolutely wonderful and sweet of you. But let's clarify and see what you're hanging on to. Or just hanging around for. I don't know. Interesting reading though. Eight of Swords reversed. Well, look at that. I just said this before. You're waiting to get out of your head in order to see things differently. But you do have... You do have an ending here. You are completing something. Let's see the world, actually. Okay. Ten of Wands. Well, okay, there's your ending. This is literally the ending to your cycle right here. Unbelievable. Right here. But you have to let go of the responsibilities of others. You know, maybe it's someone else's burdens, bullshit, problems. Let's see what the Six of Pentacles is. Well, let's 
flew right out of the deck. Wheel of Fortune reversed. Someone's lollygagging, Gemini. Like, dragging ass. That's what I'm seeing. First thing you need to do with your energy is to get out of your head. Or maybe someone else does. But whoever it is, whatever it is that you're focused on right now, it's not paying off. You know, but you're doing this and this is what you're carrying. You're, you know, this is what you're carrying with you. It's too much. And moving forward with the Wheel of Fortune reversed, it's like, it's like you're slowing yourself down. And it's because you're trying to take care of all your responsibilities, other people's responsibilities. I think you're... I don't think, I know, you're absolutely overworking yourself right now, especially if you're a Gemini that has Earth in their chart or you're dealing with someone that does. And I think, you know, the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse, it's just way too much, way too, with this, this is way too much, way too much. I'd be losing my mind. It's, it's, it's way too much. But you're getting there. You know, for some of you, I think this will flip. What's at the bottom for shits and giggles? Damn, you guys really do need to get out of your head. I can't even make that shit up. That's you. You need to get out of your head. Amazing. I'm glad I did that. Absolutely adore you guys. Gemini, uh, take care, and I will see you back here soon.